Shopify Dawn theme customization. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can customize your Dawn theme on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now I have this sample store running over here and I've installed the Dawn theme. However, the Dawn theme can look a bit redundant when you see it over and over again on multiple different Shopify stores. So I'll show you guys step by step how you can customize the theme to make it your own. So the first thing you're going to do is head on over to your Shopify dashboard. Now, once you're on your Shopify dashboard, click on online store on the left panel. Once you click on online store, you will be able to see our themes over here. Now, over here, you're going to see your active theme, which for us is our Dawn theme. And we're just going to click on customize over here to open up the Shopify store editor. Now, this will open up your home page. Now, on the top right, you're going to find your icons of your currency search bar, as well as a cart and profile icon. Now, you guys can see you have a classic customer account that is created. So if you want to keep these features, make sure to leave these icons over there and we're going to customize them later. Now, I like to get started with my home page. So our home page layout is pretty standardized on the Dawn theme. However, you can customize this however you want. So we have a image banner that is a full screen banner with a shop all shop now button. However, if I dislike this, I can always edit this and change it up. So to do that, let's say we have our image banner over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the left panel over here and click on the delete icon. This will delete this particular banner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add section in the template section. And then you have multiple different types of sections on Shopify. So you have multi-column, you have multi-row, you have a collapsible content section, email sign up, um, video section, contact form section, blog post, and a page section. And then you have image with text sections, image banner sections, slideshows as well. Then you have a collection list, featured product, as well as some featured collections. So we want to maybe display something like our image banner the image banner is going to be pretty much the same as our initial banner so it looks like this you can obviously customize that but i want half of my screen to be an image and half of it to be text so for us we're going to click on add section add image with text and you guys can see image will text with text will be added so from the left panel over here we're going to move it above our featured product and then we can add our image over here so we can click on select image and then choose any product that we have so let's say we want this one over here and then after that we have our image with text on the right now i'm going to customize the text season is here is upon us now let's say i want to change the size to small or medium large depending on whatever you prefer and let's make it bold as well and then on the bottom we have some text so a formal dress collection over here like this and then we can ask the generate text or the ai to write text for us formal text a formal dress collection like this and then i want the tone to be sophisticated and i'm going to click on generate over here and it's going to generate some descriptive text so let's say we want this and then below that we have our button so i want this image to maybe be changed a little i don't want it to be as tall so you can click on your image and on the left panel you have options to edit the image now you can add a focal point of the image so the particular image is focused on that point that point is like the central or the main point then you can choose the width of the image as well, like this, so you can make it shorter. Then you have the image placement, so if the image is first on the desktop or mobile layout. So I want this to be actually like this. Then you have the content alignment, so if you want it to be centered or towards the right or left, I want this to be towards the left. And then you have your overlap scheme. Then you have your color schemes over here, but we're going to go into that later. So moving on, once we've added this, we are going to click on the button over here on the left panel and we're going to change the button label to shop now like this and then you can enter the button link. So maybe I want to link it to a certain collection of our tops. So this will automatically lead customers to our tops collection. 
Now below that we have our featured products collection and you can change this if you want something a bit different. However, the featured products collection usually works out well because it displays some of your top sellers. Now once you've edited your particular home page, you can click on the top panel over here and click on products. From here you can just select any product and get started with editing your product layouts. So for product layouts, as you guys can see over here, we have multiple different items. So we have our descriptions added, we have a bunch of things added in our product section. We have the quantity selector, variant picker, price, and image. Now if on the bottom you don't want to add related products, you want to add maybe like a new collection, you can click on add section and add a section that is a featured product or a featured collection, which might be your new arrivals. Now. Once you've built your product section, usually this does not require that much customization. I always recommend to edit the themes of your Shopify store. So what do I mean by themes? We're running the Dawn theme. What else could themes mean? Well, it actually means your native styles. So if you click on the top left over here on the top left panel, you have the theme settings. Now over here, you're going to insert your basic colors, fonts, and all of your basic theme ideas. So they are applied throughout your entire website. So I can click on the logo over here and I'm going to see if I have my logo uploaded. If I don't, I can click on add images and then I'm going to go and add the image that we had of our logo. So it might be somewhere around here like this and i'm going to click on open over here and then i'm just going to wait for this to be completed and now what this will do is that if you add these items into your theme settings this will apply them to all sections of your website so with our logo over here once this has been added i no longer have to worry about you know the entire website to to insert the logo on each individual page now after that we have our favicon image as well Below that you have your colors. So setting a color scheme is really essential to build your brand. So click on any of the color scheme. And if you pick scheme five, it's gonna show you scheme five. Then you can add your own color schemes as well. So I want to add my color scheme. And let's say I want my store to be in like shades of pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a new background color. Then I want a background gradient as well. I'm going to choose two colors and what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to not choose this type of gradient. I want to go with a different type of gradient. So let's say we want to go with a half and half gradient like this. So first off, we're going to choose our colors and I'm going to go with really muted pinks over here and then we can go into the next color section. This goes into a slightly darker pink and then we are going to go into the next section and then to the end section like this. So you can, you know, structure your gradients however you want. You have multiple different color options and you can place them however you want them. Now I'm just going to add these over here and we're going to go with a really simple little color scheme. And then this will be like the last color that we have. And this is like the gradient that we've built. You can choose the degree of your gradients as well. So where you want your gradients to be tilting. So we've added our background gradient. Then you can choose the text color, which I'm going to keep as black. We have our solid button background as black as well. The button labels as white, outlines, and shadows. Now once we've done that, you can apply a particular scheme. So you can click on save over here. And what you're going to do is once this editing scheme has been added, you can choose a particular type of scheme. So it's easier for you to be able to set, you know, a specific type on your particular sections. Now below that you have your typography as well. So all of your fonts, your collection cards, your text alignments, all of the native items that are inserted can be customized from here. And once you've completed your edits, just click on save on the top right and then you can click on exit. And now if we view our online store, it has gone from this to this. So it looks pretty elegant and you can keep on making some more changes to further customize. 
I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.